once again, I've been given an assignment by the donkey listener. You know, if, if you watched one of our earlier videos, we built a training tire drag and we went back and added a, the old body of a wheelbarrow to it. So my lovely wife could add weight, take weight away and make it a really versatile training device. Well, that training device works so well that she asked me to look into making a tire drag one that she could use to go up in the woods and collect leaf mulch, or I could have her help me go collect firewood uh, because the drags proved to be so stable and so easy to use. Now, as a working tire drag, there's gonna be some slightly different things we're gonna do, but we'll go into this. Well, on any tire drag, you start out with a tire. And as we said in the last video, old tires you can get at probably any gas station that changes tires any tire store the annoying thing about old tires is when it rains they get water in them and you can spend 20 minutes and not get all the water out of them so step number one is we're going to go along the height of the sidewall and drill some drain holes okay we've drilled drain holes this is going to drain out of the bottom you can see there's still some water in there we we'll turn it over, and now we're going to work on building the drag itself. Now, the last time we built the drag, we used a single eye bolt. This particular eye bolt is a half inch by six inch. Comes with a nut. Put a single eye bolt in it. That's what we attach the uh, harness to. Um, now, the one thing about it is, without a single tree, without some separation of the traces, while the donkey's pulling on the drag, the traces will touch their hip. My wife said that was fine because she's trying to desensitize the donkey. But now if we're going to get into an all day working situation, we don't want that rubbing of the harness on the donkey. I don't want to go through the complexities of adding a single tree. So all we're going to do is add a second eye bolt. What we're going to do is come in here at a width about comparable to the width of a single tree, which in my wife's carts is about 24 to 27 inches. This is an 18 inch diameter tire. So we're gonna have it set at about 20 or 21 inches. And then she can attach the harness to both sides, get some separation in those traces. When we put the eye bolts into the tire, we don't wanna go just straight in or anything on a downward angle because that might cause that tire to plow. So we're gonna come in with our drill and do a slightly upward angle, all right? And then what I did is, so we don't get a lot of sliding back and forth because it's not threaded all the way through, we're gonna add a second nut and a washer on the front side. And then we're gonna add a washer and nut on the inside. And that means we're never gonna pull through that hole we're gonna have a nice solid connection and that'll be the next step. And I'm gonna go ahead and install these eye bolts. So then we'll be ready for the actual um, carriage or carrier for the, for the uh, materials that she's gonna pull with it. So we've gone ahead and uh, we've drilled two holes. And like I said, it's important to kind of come in at a downward angle using the double nut system. I'm allow I can allow myself how long I want them to extend. Well, now we've got a drag. And as we've shown before, that's a great training tool. But how do we make it a functional tool? How do we make it a working drag? Well, once again, and almost to a fault, I never throw anything out. I have this old plastic packing crate. The idea being that we're gonna mount this on the tire. So now she's got a good deep body that she can put lots of leaf mulch in for her garden. First thing I did is I went in and again, I put drain holes in it because you don't want it to capture water and become a mosquito breeding ground. What I use here is what's known as a lag bolt. You can see this bolt, nice thick, heavy threads. Once again, we're going to use a washer to hold it. And once I position the, uh, the body of the drag where I want it, we're going to go in and drill a hole. 
all the way through the through the box and the tire wall. Now we're going to attach it with four lag bolts. The bolts in. It's on there nice and strong. And now my lovely wife, your donkey listener, has a functional tire drag on these plastic packing cases. Um, just check with any industrial business that brings in large components, engines, pumps. They probably have a bunch and a lot of times you can get them or find them on Craigslist. Of course, we have no cost in this. We have no cost in a tire and you can find free tires anywhere. And that's $6 worth of hardware and a little bit of my time. So you have fun with your donkeys today.